Rotunda West versus Sarasota. Both cities offer luxurious living, but at what price? With plenty of community activities and events to keep you busy in each city, which one should you choose? Is Rotunda, Florida a good place to live? If you're looking for an affordable place to live with plenty of activities and things to do, look no further than Rotunda West. There is something for everyone in this beautiful city. Come see what I mean. In this video, we are going to explore Rotunda West and how it compares to Sarasota, Florida. Hello, I'm Lindsay Ashley, lead realtor with the Aging Group at Keller Williams. Every day, my team and I are working with people just like you who are trying to move to the Sarasota Gulf Coast area by helping you explore our city and neighborhoods to transform your Florida dreams into a reality. I would love to read your feedback, so drop those comments below. What do you know about Rotunda West? Have you been there or perhaps you live here? Do you love it or do you hate it? Or maybe you just want to know more. We really appreciate all the comments. So we will begin by talking about Rotunda West and then we are going to compare it to Sarasota. So Rotunda West is situated in Charlotte County. It's on the southwest coast of Florida and is about 43 miles south of Sarasota, less than an hour drive. So the city is named after its unique wagon wheel layout, but it also looks like a two-dimensional rendering of the Death Star. It is a deed restricted development comprised of canals and parallel streets with a dense suburban feel. 26 miles of it are canals plus ponds and lakes, all abundant with wildlife, all with the convenience of nearby beaches at Cape Hayes, Gasparilla Island, and Boca Grande. Residents choose this tranquil community due to the variety of its outdoor activities, the parks that it has, its general location, and all the community attractions. Plus, it's nearby a lot of popular destinations. Rotunda West, like a lot of Florida, has amazing weather year-round. It's tempered by the sea breeze from the Gulf so summer highs reach the 90s, but the evenings are cool to the mid to low 70s. Many people choose Rotunda West for its recreational opportunities with boating and fishing and golf and tennis, and there are many community groups from workout groups all the way to fishing groups. It is especially known for its fishing and golf. It has five pristine golf courses totaling 99 holes, and it has a perfect location to Lemon Bay and the Gulf of Mexico great fishing. What makes Rotunda West even more unique is its Central Park, 165 plus acres of community park and preserve. It is the focal point of the development. So if you're trying to choose a city that fits your budget, then it's important to consider the overall cost of living. Is it expensive to live in Rotunda West? Obviously, cost of living expenses can vary from person to person because of factors like lifestyle and family size, so that is important to take into consideration. So cost of living typically includes taxes, and the best way to measure it and compare it is the cost of living index. And as of 2020, the overall cost of living index for Rotunda West was 111 versus Florida was 103. But it is worth noting that the housing costs are the greatest driver in that variant, with the housing index being 48 points above the state index. But don't forget, Rotunda West is considered mostly a waterfront community with all of its canal systems. According to the most recent census data, the total population of Rotunda West is about 10,000 people, so it's fairly small. And the average household income is $73,000, but the median by age is $55,000, and that is because many are living off their retirement or social security. There are roughly 6,000 housing units, which are about 83% owner-occupied, which means most of them are primary and secondary homeowners. There's not a lot of renters going on. Driving through Rotunda West, you notice that many of the homes are of a newer Florida style. You don't see many of those ranch-style homes, and that's because the median year built is 1994. In the 2000s, there was a lot of growth in the development, and yes, there is still plenty of room to build with superb-sized lots and there are many custom home builders in Rotunda West with affordable floor plans to fit your specifications, needs, and options. And what makes the homes and the home prices so unique in Rotunda West is that the majority of the homes do have water feed. That is the idea, is that most homes will be built on a canal. So although the median home price is $525,000 as of June, you are most likely getting waterfront property. By any chance, if you are just starting your relocation research or planning a lifestyle visit to the area, we have a really well researched searched and carefully curated guide of things to do in messy places that will really enhance your experience. You can get a copy of that in the description below. If finding your next perfect hometown is based on finding the best education system for your children, then it is important to note that I mentioned there are many PK to 8 public schools in the Rotunda West area. The schools are part of two school districts, Sarasota and Charlotte County, and according to greatschools.com, there are several schools ranking 7 out of 10 or higher. But it is important to know that many of these schools are actually located in Inglewood which is just north of Rotunda West. 
And with less than 10% of the households having children in Rotunda West, there hasn't been much of a need for a more central location. If you've ever been to Rotunda West, then you know that the circular development is made of mostly homes, parks, lakes, canals, and golf courses. So where are all the stores? Where does one shop or go out for dinner or just hit up the town? Well, most find themselves traveling up to Inglewood and you will find that South McCall Road is lined with small stores or for an evening browsing, you could go to Dearborn Street in Old Inglewood. But beyond that, you need to commute a little further to Port Charlotte or Venice to really spoil yourself. So how does this all compare to Sarasota? There are some key differences, but I believe there are some very distinct similarities between Rotunda West and some of our communities, specifically Palmer Ranch and some of the newer communities on Lakewood Ranch like Waterside. Both of these communities are known for their golf courses and their accessibility to the golf and the lifestyle activities that come with it, like fishing and boating. Another attribute I find similar is the parks, lakes, and water views. Much of Lakewood Ranch and Palmer Ranch was designed to cater to the outdoor lifestyle with walking trails, parks, lakes, and other attractions like the Polo Club or even the Legacy Trail. So although they were not designed to be focused around one massive central park, the theme is consistent throughout both developments. Now the median sale price in Sarasota last month was very comparable to Rotunda West at $513,000 and that includes many homes that are not waterfront. However, lot premiums here are definitely based on water or golf views. And that is what has given such attraction to communities like Palmer Ranch and Waterside and Lakewood Ranch because the developers recognize the value in a water view and have designed entire communities around man-made lakes. Something notably different about our area, however, is in the population. Sarasota has more diversity with the population being at least five times the size of Rotunda West. The percentage of households with children is four times greater and the median age is more than 10 years less. Lakewood Ranch, being dubbed the best-selling multi-generational community in the U.S., speaks to the variety of people. This creates a need for an enriched education system and our area has roughly 10 schools with a rating of 9 or higher according to greatschools.org and all conveniently located throughout the town and actually our town feels like a small city compared to a sprawling community like Rotunda West. Even communities like Lakewood Ranch and Palmer Ranch have their own shopping plazas, strip malls, bars, and restaurants creating more of a small town feel. Each have emerging social calendars, various options for arts and theater, and much much more. But unlike Rotunda West, our area is growing at an exponential rate, and although there were noticeable growth in the 2000s in Rotunda West, the pace has slowed dramatically. So, which one is right for you? Rotunda West or Sarasota? There is so much more we could discuss about both places, so if you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are still not sure about Rotunda West and you would like to find out more about the area, I suggest that you plan a lifestyle visit so you can discover it on your own. I love hearing from you, and I really love helping people move to Florida. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our weekly content. And if you can't wait till next week, check out this video. Take care and I will see you in the next episode.